All right, so this is a suggestion via a donation. The name of the video is, uh, after a man saved a drowning elephant, the herd turned around and did this. Let's check it out. Let's see what this takes us, guys. Elephants are extremely intelligent animals that have a strong bond with their family. Mothers, grandmothers, and aunts will all look after a new baby. And there have been clear signs that families mourn when a baby elephant dies or even when they have a stillbirth. It is incredibly touching to see the agony that a mother elephant experiences when losing a baby. Their families and sisters will rally around the grieving mom, put their trunks on her as if giving her a hug, and the mom and sisters will even move away from the herd until the mother is ready to return. It is heartbreaking. That makes it even more unbelievable that people are still killing these magnificent animals for their tusks. It is really sad. But that is why parks exist where these animals can roam free but still have the protection of ranges and safety fences. One such park. Yeah, but poachers still get into these fences. Free but still have the protection of ranges and safety fences. One such park in South Africa is the Addo Elephant National Park. Conservation parks in South Africa allow the big game to live in an environment that is as close to normal as possible but still has humans who keep on the lookout for them. They are still completely wild herds and they can be incredibly dangerous, but the fences protect them from heartless, evil poachers. It also gives rangers the chance to intervene quickly when an elephant is in danger, allowing the species to grow their numbers in a way that is as natural as possible. Humans can take game drives and see these stunning creatures without interfering with them and from the safety of a vehicle. But sometimes rangers need yeah, I don't trust those things, though, unfortunately. Like, I understand, like, listen, they see the vehicle, they think that it's some type of, like, large animal, and they generally don't mess with it. I get it. If you ever notice a lot of these safaris, like, specifically the ones that are, like, going through, like, Namibia or uh, Botswana or, or, or Zimbabwe, they're always these open-topped, like, they call them Jeeps, they're not Jeeps, but these open-topped vehicles. The scariest thing in the world to me. I get it, you know, I get it. But I can't do it. Interfering with them, <laughs> I can't do the safety it. Safety of a vehicle, but sometimes rangers need to intervene without having any safety barriers, and this can become slightly tricky. During this incident, a baby elephant, which was only a few days old at the time, fell into a waterhole. At this stage, he was as tiny as an elephant can ever be, still really heavy, but right. way too short to get out without some help. As a wild herd these elephants banded together to try and save their youngest member. It is inspiring to watch how clever these massive creatures can be. They sprayed the sides with water to soften them. Then they stamped their feet on the edge. They hoped they could break the edge of the dam to make a way out for the baby. But it was pretty solid and despite all of their efforts, they were getting nowhere. Bro, why are you filming this? Just go help. Well, I mean, I, I guess dangerous but i but still make an attempt at the very least hopefully somebody well obviously based on the title but i just wouldn't be able to sit here and film it but either way the baby was in the water for a while and panicked trying to climb out and slipping becoming frantic it was time for the humans to intervene okay but good the herd would not make it easy for them to get close to the baby when danger comes close, the adults in a herd will circle the youngest babies and keep them inside the circle. There is always an adult to defend the babies. It doesn't matter which side the danger is coming from. Getting them away from this baby was not any different and not as easily done as said. So, to stay as hands-off as possible, the rangers from Addo decided to try using a backhoe okay. and dig out a path for the baby basically using the same plan that the adult elephants had in the first place. <laughs> in theory, it was a good idea that should have worked, but that just isn't how it all played out. They brought in the massive machine and got close to the dam and even started to dig into the rock hard muddy wall of the dam when things went wrong. The elephants became uneasy as soon as they saw the large piece of equipment getting close to the baby coming too close. Oh no. Adult elephants will risk their own lives to protect their babies against I can imagine. all odds. Right. Even though this massive machine probably seemed like a much larger creature, they were going to protect their baby from the beast. 
Okay, I get. It. Okay, I fully understand why the humans just didn't go walking over there and helping. I get it. I mean, I understand the concept of danger for the the person. You really don't want to get too close. But what do you do? To sit, watch this happen? I mean, luckily they went ahead and you know got they got some type of like backhoe, right? To actually try to help. But there has to be another way. And I'm not I'm not referring to like putting the guys this yeah, the only way to really fix this problem is to let them do it figure out a way obviously as soon as all let, let the elephants do it those big noises got too close the elephant circled the little baby and they moved him further into the water right deeper at that stage the water was pretty deep so it could become a lot more dangerous for the baby since he was already exhausted he would not be able to swim as easily as they often do it was also very young and might not have had the skill yet. The rangers quickly scratched that idea and came up with a plan B, one that could quickly help the baby, but that would be very dangerous to the humans. Go ahead. Using their vehicles, they chased off the adult elephants. This was no easy task, as these protective parents would try everything to get back to their baby. They could storm the vehicles, and these giants have been known to do some serious damage to vehicles that aggravate them or get in their way. Remember when I said earlier, I don't trust those vehicles on a safari? All right, let's go. Not even being inside the vehicle was a guarantee that the rangers would be completely safe. They kept their vehicles between the herd and the baby. It was dangerous, but actually getting the baby out of the water was going to require even more bravery from these caring rangers. As soon as the elephants had been moved away slightly, two of the rangers jumped into action. Okay. They ran to the watering hole and jumped Good. in. <laughs> the herd found their way past the vehicles back to their baby oh. and found the two men touching the little elephant. It right. would be game over for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apart from that. And they will literally never forget your face. They, you, they're going to come after you consistently for the next 50, 30 years. There is always danger all around when walking in a game reserve. Keep in mind, Addo is not only home to nearly 700 elephants that call this park their home, but it is also home to the Big Five, the biggest mm. and most fearsome animals in Africa. The Big Five consists of the elephant, of Cape course, Buffalo, and also the lion, leopard, buffalo, and rhino. The I think my biggest fear would probably be the Cape Buffalo. Listen, all of them are absolutely horrible. You would never want to go 1v1, but I do think that the Cape Buffalo probably strikes fear into all five of those. Or four of those other animals, bro. Of course, and also <laughs> the lion, leopard, buffalo, and rhino. The park is also filled with loads of other wild and dangerous animals, like hyenas, wildebeest, warthogs, and loads of other wild animals that you do not want to encounter on foot. Right, I can While imagine. These guys were fully focused on the baby rescue, and the rest of the rangers were focused on keeping the herd away. Any number of these animals could sneak up on them and catch them unaware but it was a risk they were willing to take. One that luckily paid off, as none of these animals appeared. The ranger in the watering hole picked up the little elephant. Not an easy task either. Right, it was probably like at that age, 200 it pounds. It only be as big as a large dog, but it was oh. still a lot oh. heavier. And with the help Super of his dense. on the bank, the two men pushed and pulled the baby to safety. The poor little elephant was so tired and disoriented that he almost fell right back in. The rangers would not have that. It was time to get him back to his mother so that she could care for him. With more effort, they lifted him into the back of the truck and drove him closer to the rest of the herd to a spot where they could see the mother, but was still safe enough to put the baby down and get away before she got there. Right. The only problem was that the baby had now decided that these guys were his buddies. And they put him down and tried to move away, he chased after them. It was super cute and would be a really fun Not very cute. This is the baby elephant. Game, if not for the fact that the mommy elephant right. might not like the fact that her baby, who she had been stressing about for hours, was right. playing with some strangers. Right. Instead of humoring the baby, they once again brought him closer to his herd and let him go. This time, his mom saw him and started calling for him. The little baby bounced to her, his ears flapping in the wind. But it was what the herd did next that really made it all worthwhile. What did they As do? As the rangers watched from a safe distance, they saw the mom running up to her baby and folding him close to her with her trunk. <laughs> the love on their faces needed no language to interpret. Right. But then these incredible animals went even further. 
The herd turned around to the men and started to trumpet with their trunks. They were grateful for the help they had received. This was a really good day for the park rangers. Will you get close to a herd of elephants to save their baby? Thanks for watching today's video. Okay, uh, that's a great question. Um, I'm not sure I fully understood what would happen if you did. Now I do. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm not very animal focused as a person for some reason, right? But um, now that I know the whole, all the complications, no. <laughs> I mean, I would try, I would try, but I I wouldn't be able to, like, as, my, as a person myself, I wouldn't be able to get the herd away to help the baby, because obviously if I get close to the baby, they're just going to trample me, and then, then yeah, I'm in it. So, yeah, uh, I would have to not do that unless I have enough people around me that can actually probably help, um, you know, fix the issue, at least, guys. Um, but, right, listen, um, absolutely wholesome story. Send me more of these. These are cool. All right, it's a good break up from what we normally do. All right, but all right, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day and enjoy your day uh, thoroughly.